My name is Kurt Carlson. I work for Marathon Brake Systems and I'm the Director of Sales for Canada. And I'm Scott Myers. I'm the Director of Marketing for Marathon and also have a uh, long experience as an R&D of friction material. Well, this is a perfect question for you, Scott. You know, the trend that I've seen in the industry is moving from heavyweight brake drums to lightweight brake drums. And let's, let's make the point that we don't manufacture, we don't sell brake drums, but brake drums are an inherent part that work together with our friction material. So does lightweight brake drums have an effect or impact on the wear of our friction material? It absolutely does. And I was just thinking back the last uh, 20, 25 years of the business, I've seen brake drums uh, go from you know 120 pounds to 115, 112, 107, and now they're either 102 or I've seen some at 97 pounds. Uh, that makes a huge difference in the uh, life of the friction. So you know, with with taking that mass away, you're, you're taking away the ability of that brake drum to sink the heat away from that surface of that brake, uh, and and elevating your wear, your 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 brake temps. Absolutely. Uh, when you have a uh, brake drum that, that the walls are thinner, the mass is thinner, you have less of a heat capacity, it raises the operating temperatures of, of your braking surface. And since the wear of friction material is exponential, not linear, that, you know, uh, raising uh, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, the temperature of that braking surface can significantly affect the wear of your lining. So unequivocally, yes, uh, lightweight drums lower the life of not, not necessarily just our friction, but all friction in general. Are there any other issues that you can run into moving from heavyweight drums to lightweight drums? There are. And uh, we saw a lot of these issues manifest themselves recently at the end of COVID where there were supply issues. A lot of people couldn't get the full uh, weight drums and they were forced to grab lightweight drums and misapply them into applications. I saw a few at a fleet that were used on construction vehicles and they had a lot of problems. Some of the problems that, that, that show up is, uh, you know, they can warp more easily because the wall, walls are thinner. You can have issues with hot spotting or what's called martensite form on those drums because they can reach higher temperatures at localized areas. So there, there's a lot of other issues that can greatly affect besides just the wear of the lining. So best strategy for having the longest wearing brakes is buy marathon friction and use the heaviest weight drum that you can afford. Absolutely. Avoid the lightweight drums if at all possible. Thank you.